Hi friends, in this video I am going to teach what is connection pooling and how to use that connection pooling concept in Java. So if you like this video, please subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel and share this video. So uh, what is connection pooling means? What is connection pooling means? Connection pooling is a concept in Java which is used to reuse the connections in web application. What does it mean? Uh, suppose uh, every day we have it. Um, so every day we have it. So we have one plate. So that plate only we use daily. We use it to eat uh, in that plate only. So that plate here we consider as a connection. So so that plate we reuse the every day so that concept is called connection pooling we reuse the reuse the connections in web application that concept is called connection pooling suppose um, in web application in web application suppose in a website mostly what is the difficult uh, scenario means to create the connection object uh, in suppose in our practice uh, we are write driver manager dot uh, get connection so driver manager dot get connection it will give you the connection object so we use that connection and we practice the um, we practiced um, that uh, connection object so we write our jdbc code and we use that code so we write driver manager dot get connection it will give connection but that connection is a physical connection so for once we you we once that connection we is we open and we that connection will uh, destroy will close manually so that connection we is physical connection that is not reusable not reusable connection so if uh, so if we are using so um, in real time that uh, logic driver manager dot get connection we didn't write why because we write that uh, driver manager dot get connection so my our website is getting very slow uh, our performance website performance is decreased uh, it will take time to insert a register register a uh, register uh, form it will take more time why means every time it will get it will go to the database and it will get the it will uh, get the connection every time so it will uh, so every time it will could uh, it will collapse the database it will uh, what does mean it will one second prints one second if every time every time it hit the database every time it hit the database and it will uh, it will verify the username password every time it will uh, re-verify the recheck the connections so it will the bottom of the database every time it will uh, every time it will recheck the username password so to establish the connection with the database is very difficult to uh, difficult in in this scenario driver manager that get connection and also it is not reusable connection so uh, all these uh, drawbacks of the driver manager so one of the concept is there so that concept is called connection pooling what is this connection pooling means so if uh, we are we create a some connections suppose uh, in our uh, home we have three or more plates is there that plates we are using we that plates we are daily reuses so same that process we are creating five or six connections in website suppose if we are we are a more than um, big website means popular website means 100 uh, connections is we required so that connections we are reuses the every time so um, that connections we are uh, that connections we are uh, kept in one server suppose uh, a web application server application server or web 
web server anything so we kept it that uh, connection pooling uh, connections in one server that uh, so that uh, so we are we are using that connection to through the web ser uh, that uh, server so we want to connection so get the connection through the connection pool and uses the connection and get back to and get back the connection to the connection pool which uh, our task is completed then that connection will get back to the connection pooling i think uh, we will get to some clarify so i will explain so here you can see friends uh, connection pooling means we are writing all this uh, all this uh, so database connections so one database if we are using one database uh, we are creating one connection pool so one connection pool is equal to the one database suppose we are using on our website two databases so we are uh, write two connection poolings so one connection pooling is two one connection uh, one connection pooling is one database so two, we are using two uh, two database so we are write two connection pooling so how will write connection pool means in uh, suppose we tomcat uh, in context.xml context.xml folder we write this connection pool so suppose here you can see friends uh, in one second uh, so here you can see friends in in context.xml we write uh, this uh, this standard we write this connection pooling object so here you can see friends we write so suppose i am writing i am established the connection with oracle database so i have write driver manager class name username and password to tiger and url so here and, uh, and here we write another configurations what do you means maximum how many connections to establish the to um, establish the connection with the database two or three how many minimum connections how the max, maximum ideal time to uh, establish the connection all these configurations we write in resource folder resource uh, xml folder so this uh, resource uh, this conf conf uh, this resource folder we kept in context.xml context.xml so if you, we want to uh, get you we want to use the connection so this connection pool so one second friends here you can see in connection pool we want to get the connection we must get the connection through the data source data source object we alternative no method is there no object is there we must get the connection through data source object so, uh, data source dot get connection in, uh, in practice we are writing driver manager dot get connection so in connection pooling we must to get the connection through the data source object so data source object is the implementation of the connection pooling i think we will get the clarify so all these connections connections pool all these connections we kept in data source object i think we get some uh, so some distance so all these connection pooling connections that is a uh, resource folder here i am seeing this all this is kept in one data source object here you can see type is data source object and this data source object we kept data source object reference in jnd registry i think uh, i will explain so suppose uh, in in, uh, in java we write we have modifiers private public uh, protected uh, default so we write private means we access only within the class uh, in public means anywhere we can use protected means within the class and subclasses we are using so that's same that concept so we are using global so that connection that data source object we are using globally in server so in we are using globally in server means 
so we kept this data source object in jnd registry so in jnd registry means is nothing but uh, so every server having its own jnd registry apache tomcat uh, glassfish weblogic every server its have own jnd registry we no need to write jnd registry so only simple we write the we kept this data source object in jnd registry that is globally globally everyone access this data source object so if we want to get the so if we want to get we want to get the we want to use the connection means simply in in our java web application java app in servlets or uh, jsp or anything anywhere we write simply data source object reference data source dot get connection so it will give this connection object our uh, in java app java application so we use that connection and once we write connection dot close at once again this connection will go to that connection pooling through data source object i i think we will you will uh, clarify this means so how will get this data source object uh, data source object in uh, java app means here we write simply one logic so here you can see friends here we write uh, simply lookup method is there in initial context initial in initial context uh, many many uh, functions is there select to look, look up all these functions so we first to uh, look the, uh, we first to look the connection through whole server that is java.comp.environment we write this sentence uh, we will uh, look up uh, we will get this connection uh, context object in server once we will get the connection object we will we will uh, look up to the key this is key in data source object we write this data source object data source reference object key we will get the data source object reference this data source object we will this data source object is uh, came we simply get the connection and uses that connection in data source in our uh, web application i think uh, you will get clarify so uh, one second you can see friends in connection pooling you know what is the connection pooling connection pooling is the concept in the web application which is reuses the connection in web application you want to get the so how how where we write connection means in apache tomcat um, context.xml we write uh, here you can see friends context.xml we write uh, how many connections uh, how many connections we want how many uh, maximum ideal all this we are writing uh, in connection pooling so we want to use that connection so we we get the uh, we want to use that connection we must uh, get the connection through the data source object so we all this put the, all this connections in put in data source object data source object reference then data source object reference we will kept in jnd registry so every server having its own jnd registry so we will kept this jnd registry uh, we will kept this uh, data source object in jnd registry with some name that is key name so we want to use that uh, data source object uh, in our java web application we write some client code that is java dot uh, lookup function is there that lookup function we will get this uh, data source object reference and we will get the data source object reference data source object reference dot get connection we will use that uh, connection object is the connection object we will get so that connection object we reuse this once that connection object dot connection object dot close that connection we will go to this connection pooling and another another client another client uses that connection object so uh, i think uh, you will get some clarify so next video i am going to teach um, how to use this concept in connection uh, in how to use this concept in java so if you like this video please subscribe my channel uh, please subscribe my channel and share this video